Hey guys, what's up? It is once again mp4podcast.com and I'm taking a look at the new Hophog uh, software that's designed for gamers needs. One of the most important features that gamers need uh, for making YouTube videos is the ability to have uh, the ability to do commentating to talk over the footage you want to do a let's play and so on so you need that feature and you really need it in the software uh, before you didn't need it in, in the software cause especially if you're using like composite or uh, component cables you would use a real sound mixer but when you use HDMI you need it in the software so Hophog has made uh, I'm not sure if this is like their own software or if it's overlaid on the aux software um, but I have both installed but I don't feel like I'm installing one to see if the other one works or something like that uh, but they added in a virtual sound mixer so here is the game audio right over here I'm just moving the sliders up here is the mic audio as well now what you want to do is find the sweet spot for the game audio and then your mic audio you want your mic audio to be stronger than your game audio but you don't want it to be super loud you just want it to be a, uh, a notch too louder so when you talk people will hear you but then again people can also enjoy the gameplay audio so there's a couple of ways in how to do this and I'm going to give you a um, couple of tips it's a good idea to record um, some samples and also I just want to let you guys know when I'm looking at the my television screen uh, what's happens in the Hophog software what I'm seeing on the Hophog software there was a delay um, about a se one or two second delay but that's a that actually is a good thing because if I put in headphones on my computer and I say one uh, check one two three a, a second later I will hear that um, recording of myself um, and I can hear myself with the game audio and determine where those levels need to be so that's actually a good thing all the other capture cards have a delay and you know the, the devices are recording you know the video and doing all this so you're seeing a delay so a lot of people have asked me can you use you know the hop hog to turn your laptop into a display unit so you can play xbox 360 or a ps3 on the go no you cannot do that the hop hog is just for recording all right now I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips on uh, how to mark your levels. And I kind of wish there was some numbers here, uh, so you just know where your levels are. So let's say we're playing Call of Duty. Call of Duty sounds really good. Game audio sounds good at level two, and mic audio sounds really good uh, on stereo. But underneath, underneath the first E, uh, maybe I'm playing Uncharted. Uncharted, the game audio was a little low so I set it at uh, Y right underneath the middle of the Y sometimes you'll be a little bit maybe you'll be uh, in the middle of the, that line and um, the Y and so on another tip that I can give you guys for marking your levels is using a virtual rule ruler as you can see right here we have a um, rectangle in the software so I'm gonna put this right under and line this right up like just right here so we can say under underneath uh, 80 and 100 game audio sounds good right in the middle uh, and that would be 10 so every you know it goes 5 uh, then you get that line that's right here and then oh, no hold on um, this the first uh, set of lines is um, 10 and then so we're at 90 and then we're at a hundred so okay so it's broken up by um, uh, 20 lines then so you get an idea where your lines are you can set it up with the the vol uh, mic volume so you just want to move that down a little bit and say oh I sound pretty good at 120 um, and just to be careful um, get close because right now uh, I have a hard time seeing these numbers because they are a little bit small so just get close to see them because right now I'm talking into the microphone and my head's a little bit further back from my, my monitor so just to be on the safe side get close and look at those numbers just to make sure because sometimes like the 120 it could actually look like 180 just letting you guys know that 
and also when you record your files upload them to YouTube all right and then play it back and make sure it sounds okay let me just upload a, a 20 second clip see how it sounds all right also when you're checking your levels play I can only speak for Windows 7 users all right play back in the Windows Movie Player set your audio the slider all the way to a hundred set your speaker all the way at the top and that will give you the same audio output oh, let me just move this to the side as the Adobe Flash Play. Now the Adobe uses uh, I mean uh, YouTube uses the Adobe Flash Player so if this is at all the way up my you know Adobe Flash Player and again my speaker audio that will sound the same the audio will sound this at the same max as the Windows Movie Player software alright at least listen it at, at uh, 480p alright or even 720p that's a little bit better now I did a um, let's play and let me just close this I don't need any more I had my VLC audio way up too high so if you use VLC try to get it to match what the YouTube player is maybe it's at um, oh okay I can see it's like uh, 79 maybe it's at 100 maybe that's normal but then it goes super loud alright so it can really boost your, boost the audio so if you're using another player just just check that I'm probably sure that the 100 is normal alright um, because I I like to use VLC sometimes because sometimes I'm maybe listening to a file or a music file or whatever and the audio could be a little low or watching a DVD and I'll just boost it up a little bit more that's why I use VLC so if you use VLC put it at 100 and see if it seems the same as the YouTube player alright so that's that and um, you know Another thing I do want to say is if you guys want to get a good microphone for doing Let's Plays, I do recommend the Behringer 302 sound mixer, which is XLR, but it's a USB microphone, and getting a Shure headset. The Shure headset is very comfortable to wear. I have some videos on that as well. Um, now, if you get one of the gaming headsets, you'll have those headsets on, but then you're going to have to find a way on try and get some audio out of it I think I don't know the what you call them the tridents or I don't know turtle beaches they have like a sound mixer or something some other setups I, I never dealt with those setups so I don't really know anything about them I think Woody's Gamertag or, um, or Wings of Redemption would probably know more about those those types of setups but to try to get audio out of the HDMI I'm not really sure on how to do that for headset use but I really like it you know this software it has a, a, a video editor it has YouTube support right here it has eStream and I guess you know you know you can set your audio levels right here and um, it's twitch they have twitch and uStream support so that's pretty cool uh, I really like that um, you know so there are settings here for full video use hardware acceleration iframe um, and they use uh, another thing that's really good about the new HD PVR um, to the GE models no it's not General Electric it's um, stands for something uh, game gaming something I can't remember but the PS3 has HDCP uh, encryption which was implemented to stopping people from recording um, Blu-ray movies and capturing stuff like that. However, it is all always on, even when you're gaming. So you can s s tell your PS3 to send audio through the AC3 cable, just send video uh, through the HDMI, and you can record the PlayStation 3 uh, with the HDMI before with the older setups you had to get a DVI splitter box you had to go HDMI to DVI and put that in a box and send AC3 AC3 through 
uh, and then have a new HDMI cable coming out of that box that would give you a clean HDMI. You no longer have to do that with uh, the newest HD PVR 2. I don't have that model of uh, HD PVR 2, um, so I have to use the workaround solution. So if you get a new one, you're going to be golden. And we don't know about the PS4, if they're going to have H HDCP um, always on. Maybe the Xbox One will also have that on. I don't know. Um, but the Hopog will be able to get around it, the newest one. So overall, I really do like their new software. Um, it's really nice to have it. And just remember, check your audio levels. I can't stress it enough on checking your audio levels. Now, sometimes you can repair the audio levels in post. And I'm going to quickly talk about this. Let's say your game audio was a little bit off, right? It's a little bit off, or maybe your mic audio is a little bit off here or there. You can fix it and I'm going to talk about this quickly there's another video the guy's name is Bill Myers I'm trying to try and find the, his video he's a cameraman he does he, a lot of tutorials on Sony Vegas what you do, would do you would drop your video file in, and you would spit out and I think it's an AIFF -F file whatever spit that out and you're not going to lose any quality like you're not going to re-encode it you're just going to rip it out then what you do is you drop that video. So I'm going to show you the video that I'm going to show you of his is just how to extract the audio with no quality loss. Um, you could probably go a step further. Maybe you got some hissing in the audio. You could remove that. You could try remove you try removing it in Audacity if you wanted to, but that's not what this is really about. This is if you have screwed up levels. You take that audio and you and you drop it into a program called Leviator. Now Leviator is a program that was designed for uh, fixing audio level levels with podcasters. You know, people do podcast, uh, video game podcasting and photography podcasts, whatever the podcast is about. A guy in Boston has a really good mic like a um, like me, like a Blue Yeti. A guy in Toronto has a cheap lab tech um, Microphone like I have the uh, cheap headset microphone. Um, a guy in California has a cheap microphone that he's just using on his laptop. Another guy up in Montreal has a really good, you know, I don't know, ten thousand dollar microphone. You know, everybody has different microphones. Maybe another guy is calling in with his cell phone. Okay. Um, that's the problem. What it, what Leviator tries to do, it tries to analyze all the voices and match the levels as best as it can. Now there still has to be a, enough data in that file that it can read to fix. So if you weigh damage, like let's say you know you got your mic audio right here and your game audio down here, it's probably not going to be able to fix it. The reason why I'm telling you about this is because maybe you don't want to play the level all over again you're playing a level it could take a whole hour to play it maybe it's a half hour level an hour level to play it all over again you can you can you can fix it okay so that's on uh, that it's really good uh, that you can fix levels sometimes but remember it's best to get it right the first time so remember re record some uh, listen to your audio Make sure it sounds good to you guys. Put headphones in. Go check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Like right now, I'm hearing some audio. Um, you would hear some audio. And just move the mic around. Do a little bit of recording. See where those levels do sound good. And you should probably be all set after that. But just to be on the safe side, record that audio. And then play it back in Windows Movie Player. And now that I know about VLC, VLC is probably maybe the same as um, Windows Movie Player at 100 and then it just boosts audio too much because um, sometimes DVDs are pretty low and I think that's why VLC really does boost audio super su really high because some files they do need to have their audio boosted weight I mean extremely loud because sometimes when you do watch a DVD like a Windows Movie Player 
it's way too soft so just keep that in mind 100 is probably the normal for VLC or something right around those numbers uh, but if you're in another player or whatever just check that the audio does match the Adobe player itself and remember the worst thing you can do is screw up your levels because remember the person watching the your video wants to watch the game too wants to hear the game audio but then they also want to hear you on top of it okay that's what let's playing is about so once again guys I hope this video has helped you uh, if you guys have any questions leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out now, I'm not sure if I, I said this but um, the microphone that I recommend that I love for Let's Play is the Shore headset and also the Behringer mixer. I'll leave Amazon links to those products in case, in case you guys want to get those as well. So once again, guys, this has been MP4Podcast.com, and I am signing out. Take it easy and have a good day. Later, guys. Bye. Actually, there was one thing that I want to show you about the um, boosting a mic through the computer levels. Go into control panel, this is Windows 7, uh, click on sound, uh, now you want to click on recording, as you can see here is my blue Yeti, uh, you want to right click, go to properties, and then you want to go to levels, and my mic level is at 47. Uh, my blue Yeti, I can also boost the audio from inside the mic, and then also the computer can also boost it once it gets the signal. Uh, so if you need to boost your mic up a little bit more, uh, also you can play with play, play do it this way. Now I don't know how to do it on Mac. I guess it's something similar also on Linux as well. But anyway, guys, I am out and I just forgot about telling you guys about this. All right, take it easy. Bye.